Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and another classic game source code was just released. I always love these releases, it gives you an insight into how things were used to be done. And what we got today, you see the footage in front of you from the original trailer. This was from 1999, and it is a game called Descent 3. Now this was one of the original Six Degrees of Freedom type games. Uh, I'll be honest, this game made me wretch. Uh, the motion sickness I used to get from playing this was out of this world. Uh, but yeah, this is Descent 3, and the source code for it was just released. So earlier today on Reddit, the Game Dev Forum, one of the original authors of Descent 3, Kevlar99, posted the source code up on GitHub uh, with this Reddit post. Basically said, I was one of the developers for Descent 3 back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Jeff Slutter and I worked on a patch in 20, uh, two, sorry, 2008, 2009 to modernize it, but we never released it for reasons I don't completely remember. I got permission to release it, and I'm looking forward to resurrecting the game for modern computers. That's actually a pretty cool move. So, uh, the source code for Descent 3 is available. It is up on GitHub. It came from one of the original authors with permission. Uh, so this was made by Outrage uh, Entertainment. It was published by Interplay. The code is up here under the MIT license. As you can see, it was just put up like 11 hours ago. Uh, but you see here, we've actually got uh, one small change here already occurred to it. Be interesting to see how this project ultimately takes off. Uh, so all the source code is available here. A bit of a preamble of all of it. This is the latest version of the Descent 3 source code, which includes the 1.5 patch that Jeff Slutter and Kevin Bentley wrote several years ago. At the time, it worked for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Some proprietary sound and video libraries from Interplay have been stripped out, the ACM and MBE format. I have the code uh, if someone wants to help make a converter so the old cutscenes work. It'll take some effort to stub out that code so it compiles. First thing I want to do is get everything compiling again and basically some CICD actions. After that, the code needs to be cleaned up some to remove old version control comments, etc. A lot of this code was written by a really great team but keep in mind, we were much younger and less experienced back then. Uh, if you're interested in helping to maintain it, please send me a message. Otherwise, I'm happy to take pull requests. Uh, this is the last update I put out there showing different architectures playing along. Yikes, that was a long time ago. Sorry, we never released a 1.5 patch. Some logistics got in the way. Uh, thanks to Jeff Slutter, who did most of the work modernizing the code from the 90s. I'm looking forward to seeing what the community does with it. Speaking of the code, these are always interesting to jump into. I've only taken a very brief look at it. Now, this is code. It's not the assets. It isn't the raw game. The game is still available for purchase. And amazingly enough, as we'll see in a minute, it's still up on Steam and it works on a Steam Deck. Uh, but where you're going to probably want to jump if you want to come in here and take a look at the code is right here in Descent 3. This seems to be kind of the, the main point. Uh, the entry point for this seems to be a file called game.cpp. Or even game loop is always interesting because this is how, um, you know, uh, the main game loop of any game kind of loops over and over and over and over and over again where the majority of the logic happens. Now, one of those interesting things I kind of forgot about from history, what you're going to notice when you come into these is you have all of these little comments at the top, incremental. So you actually have 400 of them with a date timestamp going on. Uh, this is how we did things before to get. So when you came in and you changed code, you actually put what you changed in a comment at the top of the source code file. You're going to find this, like for very important files, you're going to find a huge number of comments at the top. Uh, this is straightforward C C++ code. It looks like um, C++03 ish. Uh, so the game loop is going to run over and over and over again. This is what calls every single frame of your game. Uh, this is the logic of that game loop here. Probably one of the places you're going to want to jump into if you want to figure out exactly how this code goes about working. Another relevant file here is called game.cpp. This seems to be how things are set up. So right here, game.cpp is another interesting one. Once again, for every change that's made, there is a git comment at the top of this. Again, that's how we used to do things. This sort of seems to be the code that's actually setting things up, initializing, starting the game, and then kicking off the game loop. Uh, and then another one that seems to be of somewhat interest is player, uh, and that is available over here, predictably enough, under P. So player, all right, there, where's player.cpp? Uh, anyways, uh, if you want to come in here and jump into the source code, I would definitely recommend starting at those points. Also, there it is, player.cpp. Uh, so this seems to be another quite relevant class. In some ways, you can tell how relevant the class was by the number of comments that were put over top of it. But if you want to jump in here and try and figure out how the code works, those seem to be your main areas uh, in terms of what sets up the game, the main game loop itself, and the player's logic is all available here. But obviously, there's a bunch of other files here, but it's straightforward. It's all in one directory uh, there. And then the rest of this seems to be more or less 
supporting libraries and other uh, requirements. So Descent did run on Linux, Mac, and Windows. So you're seeing some uh, cross-platform code in effect here. You even got old school net code uh, in here. Um, and then you're gonna find a number of scripts throughout it. I do believe the scripts just by this uh, right here, we're using the angel script language, uh, which it got used by more games than I actually had thought. And it was actually, it's a scripting language still around to this very day that was specifically created for scripting game logic. So if you want to come in here, check out the source code, I would start in those locations. Again, I've only briefly run through it, so there might be much more important areas, but in terms of like the flow of code, those probably get you going in terms of like going down the rabbit hole to figure out what comes next. So I love when people release old school code like this. By the way, the game is is still available for purchase. I don't think you'll be supporting anyone involved, so don't do this as like a, um, an outreach. I don't think Interplay even exists anymore, so I don't even know who the rights holder is. I highly doubt that any of the developers are gonna see a cent from this if you buy it. But if you wanna go ahead and play it, it includes the Mercenary Pack as well. So it's available uh, for like 11 bucks Canadian, so probably $8 US. Uh, on good old games and it's also available on the Steam store and uh, you can see here again it's 11 bucks US so eight dollars and as I said earlier on it is playable on a Steam Deck uh, and I also got to warn you first off it is an old school game with old school graphics as you can see from these screenshots and the six degrees of freedom uh, it, it's it can be hard on your stomach on your head you can get motion sickness from this guy uh it kind of reminds me of like early vr titles in a lot of ways so back when this guy came out wow this one did a number on me uh but descent games in general were really kind of cool they even took descent and made it into uh an rpg descent into undermountain a, a D, D game which was literally one of the crappiest games ever made it was a rush job of taking basically the descent game engine and turning it into uh an RPG, first person style RPG. Again, didn't work out great, but uh, so ladies and gentlemen, that is it. The source code for Descent 3 has been released. Um, it is under the MIT license. It is all, again, C++, again, early, early C++. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Let me know uh, what you think and be interested to see how this project evolves and if we get uh, you know a community behind it and they get it running and going again. It doesn't look like you can build it yet. There's still some uh, code that's going to be have to be written, especially for those bits were removed. But it's definitely an interesting learning project. Let me know what you think. Do you like these old school open source projects as well? And do you want me to continue covering them when source code for old commercial games are released? Let me know that as well. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.